Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey there! I am here at the Inequalities Barn and was going to go inside, but I can't. Look inside. Yeah, this dinosaur is taking a nap and we don't want to wake him up. I don't know why I am whispering. He is not going to wake up anytime soon. What's that you say? Uh oh. Time to go. Learn about inequalities for me while I skedaddle on out of here. Today we're going to discuss inequalities. Which one of the inequalities best describes the following sentence? Gary has at least seven dollars. Is it A, G is greater than seven? B, G is less than seven? C, G is greater than or equal to seven? Or D, G is less than or equal to seven? The key terms are at least, which means greater than or equal to. So we are looking for a symbol that looks like this. Option C is the correct answer. G is greater than or equal to 7. Let's try this problem. Which inequality represents the number line diagram shown below? We are given a number line from negative 4 to 5. The line is shaded to the right of 3, where the numbers become larger or greater than 3. Because a solid dot is on the number 3, the inequality will have an equals 2 with it. So the shaded number line represents all numbers greater than or equal to 3. Option C is the correct answer. X is greater than or equal to 3. Which inequality represents the number line diagram shown below? In this problem, the line is shaded to the left of 4, where the numbers are less than 4. And do you notice the circle is open? This means the inequality will not have an equal sign with it. The graph represents all the values less than 4, so the correct answer is B x is less than 4. Hello again! Thanks for learning about inequalities. As you can see, my friend here just needed some food. Turns out he loves marshmallows. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. Yep, he loves marshmallows. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. Mage Math will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.